What's up, YouTube? It's me, Jess, and I'm an opera singer. So I have gotten a lot of requests to do a reaction video to this symphonic metal band called Nightwish. Apparently, their soloist is really good. So this is their live performance of Ghost Love Score. Here we go. Huge crowd. Okay, drummer. What is that instrument? Okay, I've got to pause. First thing, that transition from the fast part in the beginning to this part where she's singing was smooth, so nice. Okay, her voice. Her name is Floor Jansen. Her voice is really beautiful. It's light and almost has a little bit of a delicate quality to it, but still super powerful to where I feel like she has some major pipes going on in that body of hers. Um, two things before I forget that happened musically that was really cool. The first thing was she did this really nice and subtle, it wasn't too obvious but I heard it, crack on the word moon or moonlight or something. Um, I'll replay it right here for you. <laughs> So nice. It was a crack going from the high note to the low to the lower note. From the same moonlight water. Whatever she sings. So so nice. And then secondly, she did this really beautiful uh, chromatic move up in the melody line. My favorite interval ever is the minor six. Whether that's resolving up to the minor six from one or five or down from the minor six to a five. So, they moonlight water, do, do, do. Do, do. That minor six is so pretty. Do, do. And that resolve down is really nice, or going up. Do, The best interval ever. I don't even know what it is about it, but it's so pretty. And she did it at the melody line and it was mm, so nice. Let's keep going. Nice. Oh. 
love the straight tone into the vibrato. Okay, I've got to stop. This girl has incredible breath control. And let me say, 95% of mainstream singers today definitely would have taken one, probably two breaths in that very long phrase that she's saying after my fall. Um, can I be honest? I'm genuinely shocked that she was able to get through that phrase for two reasons. One, because that phrase sits right in the passaggio, and two, because of how wide her mouth was open. So she's got a very beautiful and nice large mouth cavity. But when you have a note that sits right in the passaggio, like, yeah. Those two notes are right in the passaggio, and then right after was her very long phrase. But when you have notes that sit there and your mouth is wide open, it's so easy to let a lot of air just escape. And even more so when it's on an all vowel. And from my own personal training, when singing in the passaggio, remember this is for classical music, uh, when singing in the passaggio, we often narrow our vowels so that we don't allow a lot of air to escape and therefore we're saving stam the stamina needed and the energy needed to get through the entire song. Because when you let a lot of air just pass through those vocal folds continuously over and over, it wears your voice out. I'm very excited to see this particular phrase in this performance because it tells me that she's got incredible grip and understanding of breath control and breath management and breath pressure. Amazing. Props. <laughs> Are people clapping? Oh, yeah. 
has a crazy mix and belt voice and it's really cool to hear i know we just heard a little bit right now but it's so cool to hear because we didn't hear that at the beginning at all i feel like she's got one of those female voices where mixing and belting really high is very comfortable for her i'm so jealous and this band y'all this band is dope they are not missing a beat okay let's keep going <laughs> Nice. She just got so easily. Nice. Oh. An ethereal sound from her with her nice and beautiful head voice then I've gotten a very powerful yet easy sounding mix and belt voice and now I've gotten this badass grit within her voice y'all the build-up to this moment is so well executed by her and the band with the syncopated uh, rhythm at the beginning going into that very toned down melodic part where she sang in her head register, then building up to a section where she's giving us a lot more belt and mix, and then now building up even more to this grit in her voice. I, I've got to give props to how they arrange it because it's, it's a show. It's genius props. I... Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, that's what you guys are doing. I'm gonna pause here because she's doing something really interesting. She's uh, taking some of the vowels and starting with a closed mouth position and then gradually opening her mouth on the same vowel as the note is prolonged. And what this is going to do is this is gonna change the shape and the sound of the vowel, but it's also a nice technique that she is using to crescendo, aka get louder, uh, within the note. Let's rewatch, and I want you all to really pay attention to her mouth movement, going from this to this within the note. Oh, I love this 
I gotta go back to the part where she was holding that beautiful long note in her head voice and then dropped crazy high into a mixed but it had a lot of chest voice in it on the knife. Oh, let's go back. y'all that i know this last note is super high but my favorite part was that what what is f5 and it almost sounds like a full belt because she's carrying a good amount of chest up there and she's just got a powerful voice oh i can't get it i am so envious of how high she can sing bringing up that mix and her chest it's insanely good that section to me perfect literally perfect okay you all i have to see them live i had an experience just watching them through the screen can you imagine what it would be like being there live if any of you have seen them live please let me know down below um i don't know when this virus is going to end but that is one of the first things i want to do is book a ticket to wherever they're going to be performing and be right front row center because that was that was everything y'all that was everything if you liked what you saw make sure to hit that subscribe button you'd be surprised how many people don't subscribe to my channel but watch my videos? No shade, I know. You can do whatever you want. But if you really enjoy this, let me know if you've seen them live down in the comment section below and turn on those notifications so that you're always aware of when I put up a new video on YouTube. I'll see y'all soon. Bye!